Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. Where are we? El Cotillo. El Cotillo. So we've come up to the north of the island to El Cotillo to show you around here. Um, it's a really lovely sort of old fishing village that's slowly been expanded over the years but still completely unspoiled I'd say wouldn't you compared to some of the larger resorts? Yeah and it's more of a kind of chilled out place it's very popular with surfers isn't it yeah. so it's kind of a if you're a, a cool kind of surfing person dude. <laughs> this is the place to come but it has like a real kind of chilled out atmospheres lots of surfy shops and uh, cool looking cafes and bars and things like that as well yeah loads of surf schools here as well so if you want to learn to surf or kite surf then El Cotillo is a great place to do that um, and loads of really nice bars and restaurants as well so we're gonna have a little walk around the town and see what we can find here El Cotillo is probably most famous for its wide variety of beaches and lagoons, but don't miss the opportunity to walk around the town itself, as there is a lot of charm to the mostly white and blue buildings found around the old harbour. You'll find a number of cafes and bars open during the day if you want to enjoy a drink with a view. There are plenty of restaurants open for lunch. Some can get quite busy in the evenings, particularly at weekends during high season. Being a fishing village, it's one of the best places on the island for fresh seafood. So we've been to this particular restaurant before. This restaurant here with this terrace. It was recommended to us uh, by someone and they do because of where it is obviously they do really good fresh seafood. They normally have it displayed in a cabinet, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they do out, out the front. Um, so yeah, you can choose something fresh. Great views. Yeah, lovely views. And uh, if you come at the right time, you can see a really nice sunset as well. So highly recommended if you're in El Cotillo. I think they do lunch as well, but dinner, um, La Baca Azul, uh, the blue cow, um, highly recommended, uh, one of our favourites here. If you're staying in Coral Echo, then you can reach El Cotillo on the number eight bus, which is a direct service. They run every hour and take around 40 minutes. From Caleta de Fuste, it's possible to take the number three bus to Puerto del Rosario and then change to the number seven. However, the timetable of the number seven bus is limited to only two to three times a day. You'll find it much quicker and easier to hire a car. There is plenty of free on-street parking available in El Cotillo. What have you found? That's your house. My house? It's got my name on it. What do you think about my house? Um, yeah, it's not for me. Not for you? Mm. No. It's in a nice location. Yeah. And it's got a good name. <laughs> Plenty of people in the water, dogs as well. Yeah. <laughs> that dog's a better swimmer than I am. There are a couple of hotels in the centre of town. The Leif has a rooftop terrace and pool and is currently awaiting a reopening date now that tourism is restarting on the island. The Coral Cotillo Beach Hotel is a larger hotel with a lagoon-style pool and an all-inclusive option. This will reopen on the 15th of July. The shops underneath the hotel are already starting to open, although the Ipadino supermarket remains closed. There are other supermarket options open though within town, including Spa and Superdino. For those wanting to self-cater, there are a number of private rental apartments in El Cotillo to suit every budget. Licensed apartments should display a VV number and sign. Yeah, 
souvenir shops are back open, which is a good sign. Ready for the tourists to come back. And these bars and restaurants here are pretty busy as well. We can't go anywhere without meeting cats. food and water there. <laughs> For those that haven't yet seen it, JP filmed an excellent walk on his channel recently showing Torino's beach bar. His channel is called JP in Fortaventura. He's been documenting his life on the island now for a number of years and knows El Cotillo very well. I'll put a link in the description so go and check it out if you haven't already. Exploring El Catillo with us. See you next week. Bye for now.